Hello everyone, welcome to today's video where we'll be diving into the fascinating world of electronics and exploring the workings of a full wave rectifier. In this video, we will take a comprehensive look at its operation, step by step, and demonstrate its functionality using a simulator. So let's jump right in. A full wave rectifier is an essential electronic circuit that converts alternating current, AC, into direct current, DC. Its primary purpose is to rectify the AC input signal, allowing current to flow in only one direction, while blocking the opposite direction. This rectification process eliminates the negative half cycles of the input waveform, resulting in a pulsating DC output. To better understand the inner workings of a full wave rectifier, let's examine a simulation setup. We have an AC power supply providing a 5 volt, 40 hertz sine wave as our input. This AC supply is connected to the input of our full wave rectifier circuit. Additionally, we have a 100 ohm resistor connected as the load. To visualize the waveforms, we have a scope connected to both the input and output of the rectifier circuit. When we observe the input waveform on the scope, we can see a sinusoidal shape with a frequency of 40 Hz. This waveform represents the alternating current supplied by the AC source. However, once this AC signal enters the full wave rectifier circuit, the magic begins. The rectifier circuit consists of a combination of diodes that act as one-way valves for the electrical current. These diodes allow current to flow in only one direction while blocking the reverse flow. As a result, the negative half cycles of the input waveform are inverted and transformed into positive half cycles. Looking at the output waveform on the scope, we can see a pulsating DC signal. This waveform comprises positive half cycles that align with the positive half cycles of the input waveform. However, during the negative half cycles of the input, the diodes block the current, resulting in a brief period of zero voltage on the output waveform. Now, let's delve into the current flow within the full wave rectifier circuit. During the positive half cycles of the input voltage, the diodes are forward biased, allowing current to flow through them and the load resistor. This current path creates a voltage drop across the load resistor, resulting in a corresponding voltage waveform on the output. However, during the negative half cycles of the input voltage, the diodes become reverse biased, blocking the current flow in that direction. As a consequence, the output waveform dips to zero voltage momentarily until the next positive half cycle arrives. While the output waveform of the full wave rectifier is a pulsating DC signal, it may still contain some ripple or variations. To obtain a smoother DC voltage, additional circuitry, such as capacitors, can be employed to filter out the fluctuations. These capacitors act as energy storage elements and help reduce the ripple, resulting in a more stable and steady DC output. In conclusion, a full wave rectifier is a crucial component in the world of electronics. By utilizing diodes to allow current flow in only one direction, it effectively converts AC to DC by removing the negative half cycles of the input waveform. The output waveform is a pulsating DC signal that can be further filtered to obtain a smoother DC voltage using capacitors or other filtering techniques. I hope you found this detailed exploration of the full wave rectifier insightful and informative. If you have any further questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Stay curious and keep exploring the fascinating realm of electronics. Remember, understanding the fundamental components and circuits is essential for mastering more complex concepts in this field. Thank you for watching this video on the full wave rectifier. I hope you gained a deeper understanding of its operation and how it converts AC to pulsating DC. If you enjoyed this content or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more exciting videos on electronics. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you have any specific topics or circuits you'd like us to cover in future videos, please let us know in the comments section below. We value your feedback and strive to create content that addresses your interests and questions. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we will explore other fascinating electronic circuits and delve deeper into the world of electrical engineering. Until then, keep learning, experimenting, and enjoying the wonders of electronics.
Take care, and see you in the next video.